Hello Aquarius, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? So this is going to be your uh, spirit monthly message for August, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading, uh, we'll say dated for August of 2020, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's so crazy, you guys, because the, I, I, I started doing, like last month when I got here to Puerto Rico, I changed it up a little bit and I started with, um, what did I do? I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm a little loopy today. Uh, I started with the, pay, the the love readings, right? And those are over on Patreon. So if you're new to me, go ahead and check me out on Patreon. $7 a month, you get, the, get everything that I do there, but also you get love readings. $5 a month, you get only spirit monthly messages part two, right? So, okay. So I started doing the, the love readings first, and then I get into the spirit monthlies. And it's consistently consistently ever since last month the spirit monthly messages have been mirroring the love messages which is kind of weird i don't know maybe it's not weird but like anyway i say all that to say aquarius in your pre-shuffle here you have the six of cups you have the lovers you have the devil in reverse and then at the bottom of the deck you have the knight of wands Oh shit, and underneath the Knight of Wands is the Ten of Cups. And it's so crazy because the Knight of Wands was underneath was underneath the card at the bottom of the deck for you guys in your love reading, but I didn't really say anything about it. Because it was I looked at it, I just took a peek at the very end of the reading. And the Ten of Cups came out in your love reading. So what does this mean? I feel like somebody is on the verge of an activation or maybe has already become activated with this knight of wands energy or at least they want you someone it feels like somebody wants to push forward in some way really excited about it and i feel like you might have like a new perspective on something the six of cups here talks about a soulmate what i'm hearing what i'm hearing here is a divine union or a divine partnership I feel like somebody might be walking away from a, a, a relationship they have, like a, like, like a most recent relationship they have, that they, they, that they were in. Um, there was a toxic codependency here with the devil. But the devil is in reverse and the lovers are upright. Or the lovers is upright. Yes, Spirit just said, a choice of virtue over vice. Um, it may be that someone, it, it may be that somebody new came into your life recently and that kind of changed the game for you. And that kind of gave you a reason or gave somebody a reason to let go of some sort of toxic chains or toxic conformity is what I just heard. This doesn't have to be just in love. This, I mean, this is a general reading. This could be anything. Very interesting. I'm going to move on. Please bear with me. I, I'm handling a lot in life right now, but today, for some reason, I just feel, I feel a little tired. I might want to, like, chill after I do this reading. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Cool. Cool. All right, so let's see what we've got here for my Aquarians. Hi, Spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our August 2020.
All right, Aquarius. Oh, thank you, Spirit. I'm going to give you five shuffles, Aquarius. Here we go. One. Two. My Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Three. <clears throat> Four. And five. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, Aquarius, what I want to say about that pre-shuffle was like, it, it, or is that, um, a better a better situation has come around for you a better a better person a better potential partner if we if this resonates for you in terms of love a better work situation a better living situation something something that is in more is in better alignment with who you truly are and what you truly want yeah Boop. and it's like you've made the decision to cut out the devil, the toxic energies, or whatever the devil represents for you. Oh shit, looky here, it's starting you off with the nine of pentacles. Yo, you solo dolo, huh? Solo dolo, yo, like, all right, <laughs> okay. So maybe someone, and this, again, this is mirroring your, your, your love reading. Maybe someone is single, shit. The world. Oh, God, Aquarius. Seven of Cups is underneath that with, oh, the tower. <laughs> oh, shit, Aquarius. All right, so check it out. Um, there was a lot of, okay, so whatever, <clears throat> whatever situation you are coming out of, uh, you are, in essence, walking away from is really what I want to say. Um, there was a lot of confusion. There was probably, I, I heard a lot of mis mismanagement, mismanaging, of energy, time, and and or resources. If this is if this is business for you, um, but then there also like if this was a romantic situation, there could have been a lot of gaslighting, um, a lot of smoke and mirrors, a lot of push and pull, a lot of pettiness, drama, just too much. That's over now. It's been. I mean. That's over now. The world <laughs> and the tower. Oop, and then you have the two of cups underneath the tower with the three of cups underneath that and the hanged man underneath that. So, um, yeah, there really could be, a, a, be a, a new relationship that's coming forward for you. That's, I just heard that's seeing the light of day. Okay, that's cool. Um, and it could be a, a, a better, a Better business partnership, Spirit just said also. All right. First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So teamwork. Yeah. This really could be a better business partnership or better business situation for you. Um, uh, either, no matter what it is, though, it just feels like these are people or individuals that really, truly want to work together, that are in it to win it, but they're in it for as a team, you know, they want to see this through together. That's good. A much healthier relationship, Spirit just said. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. There you go. Okay, so there's an offer right there, an offer to um, have a new start, make a change, start to build something new. So in the month of August, maybe if this is, if this really is resonating for the month of August for you, um, you could, you could get an offer from someone or you could make an offer to someone saying hey you know let's work together let's do this together let's let's get together let's be together something like that and now it doesn't have to be in august um it could be any time in the near future which is what spirit is saying maybe up to three months from now um or from whenever whenever you're watching this reading potentially but something is in the works here there there there, there is some sort of potential there's some sort of offer that wants to be made to say hey let's do this together Let's join forces, you know, let's team up. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Care, compassion, love being extended. 
I like that. Ace of Cups is coupled with. Oh, the sun. Yes, Aquarius. Okay. Um, so there could actually, on, honestly, Aquarius, this really does, for some of you, this does feel like um, a confession of love. Like, uh, <laughs> and this is also, this is also a certain, like a relationship seeing the light of day. <laughs> you know? It could be that someone could, someone could be really revealing their feelings. Yes, in the near future, someone really could be revealing their feelings towards you. Like maybe more than just a friendship, you know, maybe things had progressed long enough for that, for this person or for you to say, Hey, look, I, I really have feelings for you. Let's get together. Let's work together. Now it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a situation in which like if this is resonating for business, maybe you guys have been in the same business circle for a while. Um, and, and, um, like you've known, you've known of each other and, you know, you've been, you've been crossing paths, hanging out, do, doing this, seeing them, seeing each other at this convention or at this, whatever, at this job site, whatever. And now someone is kind of like, Hey, do you want to, do you want to be a business partner? I mean, we've been talking about all this stuff. We are really vibing. We're really on the same page. Why don't. Why don't we join up? Why don't we team force, uh, uh, join forces? Why don't we team up? There it is. Why don't we team up? Why don't we join forces? That's cool. Uh, your challenge, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading. The nine of wands. There's a, there's a level of uh, perseverance that's needed. Um, don't give up. I know some of you have probably been through some pretty nasty, toxic shit. Um, but definitely don't give up now, especially in terms of, well, in anything, but especially if you're now at this point where you've really released a, whatever the devil represented for you. Um, now that you've really released whatever the devil, the toxicity that the devil represent, uh, represents for you, um, the devil in reverse that was in the pre-shuffle, you are now clearing away its space for whatever it is you truly want to come in. So you definitely can't give up now. Of course, you could take a break, you could, you could release, you could whatever, you could whatever, you could go off and, you know, have, go on a little vacation and blah, 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 do your thing there, but don't give up on what, on receiving what you truly want now, okay? Nine of Wands is coupled with, oh, the Nine of Swords, whoa, yeah, Aquarius, don't give up. I want to say all is not lost here, everything's going to be okay, don't give up, all right? You didn't do anything wrong either. For some of you out there, that's why I want to say you didn't do anything wrong. Uh, oof. All right. Now spirit just said she's controlling you. You were, the, you were doing the best that you could to try and salvage the relationship. And she was just being controlling and manipulative. Ah. And to be quite honest, Aquarius, that was the, um, that was the message in the love reading. Let go of control issues. Hmm. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius. Temperance. Good. Divine alchemy is coming together. Everything is going to be okay. Trust the process and be patient. I almost feel like, yeah, this is, this is almost giving me like a divine union type energy because... The Temperance card it is represented a, or, or, or is um, considered a Twin Flame card, right? And I'm calling Twin Flame Divine Union, Divine Partnership now, just just because. But it's still, it's just a label, so like, whatever. Um, but I see, I see, like, Divine Partnership as the universe playing matchmaker for you. You do your work to heal yourself, to, 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 to be good on your own and blah, blah, blah. And then the end... The universe, when you're ready and when your partner is ready, the universe aligns you with someone that resonates with that energy. You don't really have to go out looking for it. Yeah, you do have to go out and be social, but you don't have to take all these extra steps just to like find a partner. It will show up when the time is right. And that's kind of what I feel like this is talking about here. Now, this could be love or, or and romance or it could be business, okay? 
but the perfect partner for you is coming. It, you're on your way there. It's being alchemized right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you have to be patient. Temperance is coupled with ugh, the King of Swords. All right, Aquarius, there you are. Um, I'm hearing objective thinking. It's interesting, Aquarius, because I'm almost feeling like this is giving me a little bit of like King of Wands energy, where it's like you're, you're watching everything. You're watching everything. You're taking note of all the details and almost like waiting for the right time to strike. So that's where the King of Wands energy comes in, waiting for the right time to strike. But as the King of Swords, the King of Swords is very, very focused on the fine details, on like the mini, minute, minuscule. Sometimes the King of Swords can be, that, that, that aspect of the King of Swords can be, a can be <laughs> to a detriment because at some point it's like, okay, look, look, we've investigated this as much as we possibly can. Can we just make a decision already? You know? But here, it's not a toxic element. I just think you're watching something come together intently, staring at it, focusing on it. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to go over to Patreon and I'm going to do part two of your spirit monthly messages. Yes. Uh, Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link is in the description box below. Um, but with that said, if I don't see you over there, I still thank you so very much for being here. I, I, I appreciate you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>